Okay, here's the deal. We want to review something that's not on YouTube that we had. So it's this. What is it? Sweet Earth Cauliflower Mac and Cheese. Sweet Earth Cauliflower Mac and Cheese. Comes in a cardboard box. It's like four bucks. What did we try that was real good by them? Um, the Aloha Hawaiian Barbecue Quesadilla. The Aloha Barbecue Quesadilla. Two thumbs up. I didn't try it. You did. Give it a thumbs up anyways because you know it's good. Two thumbs up on the Aloha Barbecue Quesadilla. We haven't tried the pizza one of this, but we saw a bunch of bad reviews. They said it was spicy and heavy on the fennel. I'm a brand new vegan, so I'm not going to try it, but we're going to try this tonight. We're going to give you an honest, quick review, and we're not going to get mess around. We're going to get straight to the point. I'm going to tell you if I think it's good or if we think it sucks. She's going to tell you what she thinks. She still eats meat and cheese. I am trying to become a vegan. Very little cheese and milk for me. No meat for me. But we'll see. You've been vegetarian for about a year. It's and not that big trying to deal. transition. I'm trying to transition. So I'm going to tell the average person that wants to know if this is any good. I'm going to tell you if it's any good. And I'll just and give I'm my a chef, so I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to pause this and we're going to come right back to it. It's in the oven right now. I'll just give my perspective so from a pause. meat eater's point of view. Boom. Drop it. Okay, so I think we're jamming again. Here it is. It looks pretty bakey flaky coming out of the oven. I've got a fork right here and we've got it on a paper plate that can be recycled, which is nice. I got to be honest with you. We put a little bit of seasoning on it. What do you put on there? Some saison, some black pepper. Turmeric. Turmeric. A little bit of olive oil spray. But we're still jamming and we're still vegan. So here it is. And we added a vegan cheddar. Oh yeah, we added just a tiny, not, and what's the brand that we added? Oh shit, we dropped a little piece of dog in it. No worries. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to try this and tell you what it tastes like. It's hot as balls, but it should be good. Alright, looks good. This is not like your traditional mac and cheese. It's like cauliflower. And sweet potatoes. Yeah, it's like cauliflower and sweet potatoes. And chickpeas. Mm. Alright, hold on, here we go. What mm. do you think? I give it two thumbs up, straight up. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. It doesn't have any weird vegan food taste to it. It's pretty legitimate. I mean, when you're going for these products, you got to consider it's not going to taste like grandma's mac and cheese with a bunch of butter and a bunch of cheese and a bunch of shit in it. You, you got to be realistic with what you're going for here. It's pretty good for what we're going for. I'll give it two thumbs up. Two solid thumbs up. Now, the she, pasta's pretty good. She's not vegan. She's this. Is a, she's regular food all the way. So if she likes it, then it's got to be pretty close to regular food. I'm really picky with this shit, so. You know, it's much, much, much better than the Daya mac and cheese boxes that they sell. Those are really good. This is pretty fucking bad to the bone, to be honest with you. And as far as a microwavable mm. dinner oh goes. My God. Oh, yeah. We didn't do it in the microwave, though. We did ours in the wow. oven. There's a lot of cool elements happening there. I'm tasting the cauliflower. I'm tasting the, uh, what's the other thing in it? Uh, sweet potatoes and yeah. chickpeas. Sweet potatoes and chickpeas. It's all coming together. We put the tiniest little bit of vegan shredded cheese on it. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of saison. Blah, blah, blah. You kind of season your food with what you like to cook with because you like those tastes. You know, I'm not disappointed. It's good. All right. So we give this two thumbs up. 100%. Um, she's going to keep eating, so I'm going to give the two <laughs> thumbs up. Three thumbs up. It's actually really good. So... If you are vegan, you're going to love this. If you're not vegan and you're thinking about going vegan, you probably will dig it. Um, and if you're in between like we are, or like I am, actually. So Sweet Earth is one of the brands that I recommend. Another good brand to look out for Follow is your heart. For cheese. Yeah. I recommend Follow Your Heart. I heard they do eggs, and I haven't tried those. We're going to try the eggs really soon. 
Um, and just, no evil foods. Oh I've, shit! Their yes. barbecue pulled yeah. pork is really good. And what's the quesadilla? That's so, Sweet so, Earth as well. Sweet Earth has some pretty cool shit. Um, I'm coming from a person from a point of view that wants stuff that tastes like regular food. If this, you're looking for this ice cream. This cuts the mustard. This cuts the mustard 100%. Ben and Jerry's 100%. makes non-dairy ice cream. It looks great, too. It looks fantastic. It actually looks like real food. So good. Ben and Jerry's has some killer shit, too. Yes. It's funny. I and, just buy all this stuff for you. And hold on. You know what they want? The best way to replace your cheese is replace it with, what is that? The best one that we can't get because they're sold out. Um, the, uh... Listen to this. I don't know. I think it's Follow Your Heart Parmesan. Yeah, the Parmesan is bad to the bone. It's so good. Yeah, the Parmesan is so cool. You will totally dig it more than any other cheese. Look, she's going back for it. It's really good. I seasoned it really good because I'm a chef because I cook really good. But it will probably be good straight out of the box. A little bit of Saison, a little bit of, uh... Fake cheddar shreds on top because it's, it's. They call it. Um, they call it damn. What do they call it? Fucking um, cauliflower mac and cheese. But it's mostly cauliflower. If you like cauliflower, you'll like it. Yeah, there's a cool cauliflower pizza that's really good, but it's not vegan. It's it has vegetarian. a cauliflower taste to it. It's vegetarian because there's real cheese on it. But if they made a vegan version of that, it'd be bad to the bone. But damn, you'd be surprised what they can do with cauliflower. So, if you're wondering... If it's just like a piece of cauliflower right there. That's it. That's all it is. It's cauliflower, fake mac and cheese. It's mostly cauliflower, but cauliflower is killer. We have a really good recipe for cauliflower. We call it cauliflower surprise. It's really simple. You just take a head of cauliflower, toss it in olive oil, turmeric, salt and pepper, 350 in the oven for 30 minutes or whatever, 25, 30 minutes. It's killer. You can munch it. That's all you need. And that's so groovy. If you want to put some fake cheese on it, that's your business. But anyways, that's it. We're out. And you're good and you're solid. And if we lied, we died. That's it. Peace. I liked it. Yeah.